<clears throat> what is up everybody we are going to be continuing our napoleon hill series uh this one is going to be the chapter on habit of saving now <clears throat> napoleon hill states uh fixing your mind the thought um that your ability is limited uh to a given earning capacity and you will never earn more than that it states that your subconscious mind uh, takes over this picture uh, which you have created and it uses it as a blueprint a chart or a map by which to mold your thoughts actions and practical practical plans for attaining the object of your definite chief aim it says by uh, urging yourself um, and demanding of yourself an increasing earning power on the one hand and by systematically uh, laying aside uh, a definite amount of which you earn on the other hand you will soon reach the point at which you have removed all imaginary imaginary limitations um, from your own mind and you will then be well um, started on the road towards financial independence <clears throat> so it's a pretty good move in terms having a fixed sort of percentage you save and, and demanding of yourself increased uh, earning power. So, <clears throat> habit. Any idea that is deliberate, deliberately, <laughs> the words, deliberately fixed in the mind or any idea that is permitted to set itself up in the mind as a result of suggestion environment influence or associates is sure to cause us to indulge in acts which conform to the nature of that idea so it talks about the story of uh this individual who stuck on a sign on the uh on the wall of wherever they worked and it said we talk and think only of abundance here. Uh, if you have a tale of woe, please keep it as we do not want it. <laughs> so, most men who develop the habit of debt will not be so fortunate as to come to their senses in time to save themselves. Because debt is something like quicksand. In that it has a tendency to draw its victims deeper and deeper into the mire. Ooh. It says, when in debt, people lose ambition to pull themselves out of it and become slaves to debt. Every day, a suicide is, com is, is, is committed as a result of worry over debt. And he says here, how to master the fear of poverty. He says, first, quit the habit of buying on credit and follow this by gradually paying off the debts that you have already incurred. It says, adopt as part of your definite aim the habit of saving a regular portion of your income, even if this be no more than a penny a day says very soon this habit will begin to lay a hold of your mind and you will actually get joy out of saving now this is very interesting he says you, even if you even if you start with a penny start saving and jim Rohn states that it's not the it's not the amount that matters but it's the act that matters so it's not the amount it's the act that's a very, very uh, good um, uh, statement. So adopt as part of your definite aim the habit of saving a regular portion of your income, uh, even if this be no more than a penny a day. Oh, I'm just repeating myself. <laughs> I just repeated what I just, I just wrote. Um, so it says money is, is a good tool to help you express your genius. That's what money is good for. It's to help you express yourself the artist needs a canvas uh, he states that if you don't save money you suffer in two ways um, first the inability to seize opportunities 
um, that come only to the person who has uh, some ready cash. And second, by embarrassment due to some unexpected emergency calling for cash. Two very good points. It says, ways in which most people lose money is via gambling. Fortunately, I don't gamble. <laughs> it says, drinking and excessive entertainment. Um, uh, this may be thought of the majority of people. Uh, they think more of how they're going to spend what they have what they have than they do about ways and means of saving and like <clears throat> i've had this you know what i mean like uh whenever I, I remember getting my student loan uh in university and like you just get paid like a thousand something and you're like i'm rich yeah what's up ballin <laughs> um and like you're just all your mind just goes oh what can i spend this on but i just because i came across uh napoleon hill um at a young age uh he sort of helped me turn that sort of mindset around instead of being like oh what can i what can i spend you know what i mean like uh, help me save but i definitely have indulged in in the spending habits i definitely have so okay so uh, the idea of saving and self-control and self-sacrifice, which must accompany it, accompany it, always accompanied by thoughts of an unpleasant nature. But oh, how does it thrill one to think of spending? Like if I give you a thousand pound right now, what are you thinking? <laughs> You're like, I'm going to spend this money, y'all. It says, um, the habit of, of saving money develops other habits such as self-control self-confidence, courage, poise, and freedom of fear. And he works out that this is the sort of uh, way to go about uh, using your money. He says savings 20%, living expenses 50%, education 10%, recreation 10%. But he states that the average person uh, saves nothing, uh, Living expense is 60%, education is nothing, recreation is 35%, and life insurance is 5%. So in the first one, it's the, it's the savings, uh, education um, being like the, the, the ones that actually have something in there versus in the latter, uh, there being nothing in education and um, nothing in savings. So... That's how he says most people are spending their life. So 2% of high school high schools show the tendency of a saving. So 2% of high school people. And only 5% out of 11,000 of uh, the high school age, um, you know, believe that saving habit was essential to success. So the spending habit is a cardinal fault of this generation. That's what he says. This book was written in like the early 1900s. Um, the spending habit is... Yeah, I just repeated that. <laughs> he stopped doing that. So, the person who saves for a definite portion of all money he, uh, he or she earns uh, or receives in other ways, um, they are practically sure to place himself in a position of, of uh, financial dependence. I mean, independence. Uh, those who don't are uh, sure won't. So he his whole mindset around this is that to be financially independent, um, it's good to have this habit of saving. Because I think the way he sort of is going about it is that like even even if you're earning loads, if you are spending loads, like if you earn a thousand but you spend two thousand a month, if you earn a thousand a month but you spend two thousand a month, uh, then you're going to be in trouble. If you are making a, a million a month and you spend two million a month, you're going to be in trouble. But if you can save just 10% of that, 20% of that, then you're going to be in a good position as over the years as it sort of accumulates versus the person who doesn't. So, so if you save 10% of 1 million, that's 100,000. 
And in this story, he would have had no doubts if he had done this. Yeah, this is... Then he talks about a story of a guy who, like, works hard, you know what I mean? Gets to the top, he's making loads of money. But at the but towards the end of it, he's, like, in crippled in debt. Even though he was making so much money. He's making so much money. Um, he was just crippled in debt. Had to pay off a bunch of people. It's all these different things. And uh, the regret that individual had in the book was that he didn't save 10 percent of uh of the, of the money he had and he said that if, if he if he had done that he would be in a situation where he would have had a hundred thousand pounds um instead of absolutely nothing with loads of debt to to pay off so so he stated that the money passed out of his pockets like water flows through a sieve Okay, but he was really good at his work uh, in this. He was really good at work, and he's always looking for something to do, and he always found it. So he states, "It's better to sacrifice during the age of youth than that during the age of maturity." Uh, forming the habit means that, to some extent, at least you must seclude yourself from all except a well-selected group of friends who enjoy you without uh, celebrate entertaining on your part. It's like, sorry, you know, I like the simple life, Bob. <laughs> Bob's like, oh, no, you must entertain us with, with, with fancy food and fancy beverages and uh, fancy outings all day, every day, 24-7. We have to keep up with the Jones. <laughs> sorry, Bob, I've changed my life. I read this book by Napoleon Hill. <laughs> um, yeah, and... Uh, he states that the person who induces people to save is a practical philanthropist. Philanthropist. So, uh, financial independence. He states it is a terrible thing to be compelled to be at a certain place at a certain task, one of which one does not like for a certain number of hours every working day for the week for a whole lifetime. And he states that in some ways this is the same as being in prison. <laughs> but he says since one's choice of actions is always limited. Um, it is really no better than being in prison. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I would argue that like you know what I mean. Uh, but he says it's really no better than being in prison. With the privilege of, 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 a, of a trust. In some ways even worse Worse, um, because the person who is imprisoned uh, has escaped the responsibility of a place to sleep, something to eat, and clothes to wear. I mean, like, you still really, like, don't have that much freedom, Napoleon. I would, I would, I would argue with this one. <laughs> there's, no, there's no other way out, whatever it takes, no matter what the sacrifice it may require. So he talks about saving so he says, you got to save, you got to save, you got to save. That is a message here in the in Napoleon Hill, the chapter on habit of saving. What do you think of that chapter? Have you developed the habit of saving? Do you enjoy saving or do you just enjoy spending all the money you get as you get it? So that being said, thank you very much for tuning in to this Napoleon Hill series. Peace, love, veg. Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment below. I'm out.